Scientists of the German Space Agency have tested the harpoon that will be used in the lander of the Rosetta probe when it's expected to land on Comet 67P by the end of this year, after 10 years of travelling. Rosetta carries a space landing device called Philae. ESA plans to deliver the lander to 67P's surface in November. The harpoon will be used to fasten the lander to the surface of the comet, since the gravity of the comet is only a fraction of that of Earth, and its surface is unknown. Project manager Stefan Ullermerk said that the challenge is the uncertainty of what to expect of the surface of the comet. Rosetta started its journey from the European spaceport in Kourou, French Guiana, in 2004, and according to ESA, has since travelled about 6 billion kilometres. On its way to the comet 67P, a roughly 3 by 5 kilometre large rock discovered in 1969, Rosetta has been circling the Sun on a widening spiral course, swinging past Earth and Mars to pick up speed and adjust its trajectory. Rosetta is due to rendezvous with the comet on August the 6th and map it from a height of about 100 kilometres in order to find an appropriate landing spot. According to the plan, the Philae lander will land in November and be fixed to the surface by a harpoon. The German scientists are convinced that the harpoon will do its job perfectly, no matter what the material of the surface turns out to be. The test of the harpoon at the German Space Agency laboratory worked well, though not perfectly since the harpoon diverted slightly into the wooden box surrounding the experimental material but Ullermerk was still happy. The firing of the harpoon worked very well. The harpoon penetrated the granulate material and only got stuck in the wooden box, he said. Until the end of 2015, the probe is set to gather data on the comet's surface and examine how it changes as it nears the sun.